Hey, what's up, developers? Welcome back to the channel. If you've ever built a Next.js app, chances are you've run into one of the most dreaded parts of the stack, authentication. It sounds simple, sign users in, keep them secure, maybe throw in a little social login, but then you dive in and suddenly you're buried in config files, OAuth providers, and session management chaos. I've been there. Over the last few months, I've tested four popular auth solutions for Next.js, BetterAuth, Clerk, NextAuth.js, and Auth.js. And yes, while NextAuth and Auth.js are technically the same library today, their evolution gives them enough distinct flavor to treat them separately in this breakdown. Why am I making this video? Simple. I've used each of these in real-world apps, from side hustles to full-scale SaaS platforms, and I've got some strong opinions. Each tool claims to simplify your auth stack, but every one of them comes with trade-offs in setup time, customization, cost, and flexibility. My goal today is to help you figure out which solution actually fits your Next.js project. I'll go over the pros, cons, and ideal use cases for each tool and then share my go-to pick. Let's dive in. First up is Better Auth. It's a newer player in the space built with modern TypeScript projects in mind, and it's gotten a lot of attention for its great developer experience and strong type safety. I used it recently on a TypeScript-heavy Next.js app and was honestly impressed by how quick it was to get running. You install the package, define your auth routes, configure your database, it supports things like Prisma and Drizzle out of the box, and you're rolling. What makes Better Auth stand out is its focus on type-safe APIs and a clean modular architecture. You can add email, passwords, social logins, or even 2FA without drowning in boilerplate. Setting up a credentials flow, just define a schema and plug it into your endpoint. The documentation is clear and the error messages are actually helpful and nice change. It also supports things like RBAC and has straightforward session management. Now, it's not without limitations. The project is still young, so the community is relatively small. If you hit a weird edge case, Stack Overflow might not save you. And while it shines with TypeScript, JavaScript-only projects won't see all the benefits. Some devs on X, formerly Twitter, love better off for being simpler than nextauth.js, though others note that it doesn't handle client-side auth quite as smoothly, especially if you're migrating from something like Firebase. Bottom line, if you're a TypeScript dev building a modern app and want full control with a great DX, better auth is a great option. Just be ready for some occasional growing pains. Next is Clerk a fully managed authentication provider. Think of it like auth as a service. I used Clerk in a SaaS product where launch speed was critical and it delivered. You wrap your app in a Clerk provider, drop in pre-built sign-in and sign-up components, and boom, you've got polished secure auth in minutes. It handles everything, social logins, MFA, profile management, and even webhooks for user events. Clerk integrates tightly with the Next.js app router, provides helpful middleware for route protection, and comes with a slick dashboard for user and session management. Their focus on security is great, using HTTP-only cookies and same site protections to avoid common vulnerabilities. Their uptime is also rock solid. But here's the thing, that convenience comes at a price. Clerk's free tier tops out at 10,000 monthly active users, and advanced features like MFA live behind higher pricing tiers. I've seen Reddit threads about teams caught off guard when free features suddenly became paid. Also, because it's a managed service, you lose some control, especially over data and backend logic. One dev shared a story about having to rip Clerk out after a pricing change. So who is Clerk for? If you're building a startup or launching something fast and you're okay with the cost of scaling, Clerk is amazing. But if you want long-term control or custom backend logic, you might want to look elsewhere. Now let's talk about NextAuth.js, the tried and true open source solution for Next.js. I've used it in projects where I needed support for multiple OAuth providers like Google and GitHub, and it did the job. It supports over 50 providers, works with just about any database through adapters, and lets you choose between JWT or database sessions. You create an API route for slash API slash auth, configure your providers, and wrap the app in a session provider. It's not as turnkey as Clerk, but you get full flexibility and it's totally free. That said, it's not perfect. There are no built-in UI components, so you'll need to build your own sign-in flows. Some developers have raised concerns around security and slow maintenance, since it's maintained by a relatively small team. But for basic OAuth flows, especially in budget-conscious or open-source projects, it's a solid option. Now, auth.js. This is basically the next-gen version of Next Auth. With version 5 and beyond, it's been rebranded to better reflect its goal of being framework agnostic, though it's still tightly integrated with Next.js. 
It drops some legacy baggage like older OAuth flows and embraces newer web standards and features in Next.js 14 and App Router. I used Auth.js version 5 recently and loved how clean the config felt. You define your providers in an Auth.ts file, export handlers, and use a new Auth helper in server components and route handlers. It still supports all the same providers and database adapters, but has trimmed out deprecated features. One dev online jokingly called auth.js a honeypot to make you switch to clerk. I don't agree, but I get it. The setup isn't always smooth. There's no UI out of the box, and advanced features like MFA need custom implementation. Still, for server-first apps and devs familiar with the next auth mindset, auth.js is a more modern and future-proof evolution. So after using all four, what's my personal favorite? Honestly, it depends. If I need to ship fast, Clerk is unbeatable. If I need open source freedom, auth.js or next auth are reliable. But lately I've been choosing better auth for most new TypeScript projects. Why? It gives me a clean type safe dev experience without the cost or vendor lock in. I recently integrated it with Drizzle ORM in an e-commerce app and had a working flow in under an hour, with RBAC and optional 2FA included. Sure, it's still maturing, but the core is solid and the DX is top-notch. That said, it's not one-size-fits-all. If you want polished UI and enterprise-grade features, Clerk, need total control and zero costs, auth.js or nextauth.js, prioritize modern TypeScript tooling, better auth is your friend. So which one are you going with? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts and what's worked for you. If this breakdown helped you out, drop a like, maybe subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.